Hello everyone, I am Oracle Unicorn and welcome to Shaman Messages. I decided to have some fun with my makeup today. Yes, and we're doing Capricorn and uh, Cancer. Yes. Alright, so keep in mind this is my disclosure. This may not resonate with everyone. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Put some things in your back pocket because you never know you might lead it for later. Need it for later. Lead it for later? Let it lead you for later. Yeah. Alright. <sighs> I love when I just do fun stuff with my makeup. It's so amazing to me. I love it. Okay, anyway, this is your weekly reading for Capricorn, and um, if you don't mind hitting that like and share and subscribe button, subscribing greatly helps expand the channel. Thank you so much. Now let's get on with your weekly Capricorn reading. And if you would like a personal reading as well with me, Oracle Unicorn, the information for that is in the description box below. And um, if you would like to donate to my channel, the link for that is below as well. What kind of messages do we have for our dear Capricorns? Capricorn. Capricorn. Ooh, nice. Um, who was it? Sagittarius? No, Scorpio. Scorpio also had this card, so if you have Scorpio in your chart, I would definitely recommend go watching the Scorpio reading. There may be something in there that'll greatly help you, okay? So, Capricorn. You are coming into being able to understand how to protect your energy and protect your energy from projection of others and how they think of you as to how you truly feel about yourself and coming into illumination with how you feel about yourself and honoring your own personal power and likes and what you truly really um, enjoy doing. Enjoy doing with yourself. Enjoy doing when it comes to like things you like. Enjoy you, you just are starting to enjoy yourself more. You really are. And coming into how you really used to enjoy yourself when you were younger, but, like, it was looked at in a very negative way, I could totally, like, like, totally, like, connect with this one. And you're, you're, you're coming into how you naturally viewed it when you were younger, how it was in a beautiful sense with yourself, and how you saw it in its own beautiful, unique kind of way, you're coming back to that, okay? And you're having a willpower about how your projection upon it was, was illuminated from back in the day, and really, you know, coming out of deception with it because you do have the deception card but since how it's in the beginning it's like you're coming out of this deception energy because of fear of what what like of what's like people feel that is supposed to be looked at upon it okay Wow, I am so fascinated with my makeup. I am so sorry, Capricorn, but I am just like, yeah, my new shirt and everything. Like, I love this shirt. Yeah. I am just enjoying myself right now. I am sorry. Excuse me. But I feel this is the kind of energy you're going to be getting into. And enjoy it, baby. Enjoy it. Because you're really illuminating it to its own sense of beauty. Yeah. Own sense of vibrance of beauty. I really put, think I should probably done like eyeshadow and stuff and uh, another time. But anyway, and you're coming into really viewing your own sense of beauty as like number one in your life. Instead of feeling as if you had to back it down or kind of like hold back because of other people's projection upon it, which is why I feel you have this uh, record keeper of the uh, whale because people view the whale as like a killer, a killer whale and a, a very kind of extreme aggressive whale and, and in reality he's just 
they're very intelligent and yeah they do go after seals and eat meat but they are not like a shark would be so it's like they're even though they're they have this projection this projection of being mean and dangerous as if like kind of like a shark has but shark really don't go after people unless like there's issues going on or unless you're kind of like totally invading their own area you know and you're getting like I'm feeling this is an extreme amount of download for some of you this is a message coming in for you or you're going to be giving this message out of how like you your your personal power and how you feel and being able to gracefully flow into uh, balancing your your thoughts your thoughts and emotions. Like you're coming into being able to bring logic and your emotions together, and kind of like creating a a new sense of unity with your emotions. Because usually, like depending on your chart and your placement of your Capricorn energies with your rising sign so definitely look all that up because some things that resonate in here may not be like the full story with you but half of what's here and half of what's with your rising sign may be your actual full story so that's why I feel I think I'm choppy okay but anyway um and I feel that's like your download of your messages coming in for a lot of you. It's uh, very self-opening up and, and grounding more of your heart with your, with your logic, okay? With your sense of like what what fuels you what brings you passion what brings you a drive okay because especially with me i am a lot of aquarius which is very dreamy and kind of like aloof but what diminishes my aloofness is the fact that i'm an aries rising so that fiery head forth passionate running kind of like horse energy even though it is a a, a ram I believe it's a ram um even though it's you know kind of like this energy the aquarius kind of calms this energy down and then this kind of like grounds and bring in more like a sense of drive from the aquarius than to be kind of held back a little bit so that is how you can really bring in the two and understand yourself when it comes to your um, sun and rising sign, okay? So that actually helped a lot when it came to me. And knowing your moon sign, knowing your moon sign actually helps when it comes to your hidden qualities. Like, it seems like I'm not grounded at all, but then I come to find out that I'm actually a Capric- my moon sign is Capricorn which grounds a lot of everything that I'm doing, but it's hidden grounding. Like, I'm able to find the, the true grounding into, like, hidden things. It's almost like a snake going in for its prey. And that's, like, what my Capricorn energy does with the overpowering of, like, my, my passion drive with my um, intellect and air of dreams all coming together to create its own harmonious balance and I feel those are the messages that you're coming into now that we've come full circle with all of that okay and it's going to bring you in a sense of fear but that's what I feel like you have this personal protection with like have faith in yourself <laughs> have like love for yourself in the way you are because this all of this is going to be illuminated for you and it may take an extreme gamble into the realm of unknown mysticism and it's going to create a lot of healing for you okay capricorn so it looks like we're only going to do these two decks huh <laughs> okay so it's going to create a lot of like fun, dreamy, beautiful mysticism, mysticism for you. Ha, you. You know what word I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> and 
to, like, because you have the 4-4 four, four here and the 4, so that's like 3 4s. I feel when it comes to both of these together and being in this layout for you, to know and not be held up in the deception that you're not protected in this with the universe and with whatever you believe in doesn't does I mean just staying true to you and honoring your heart and your drive and passion and what really fuels you and your happiness in life is like what is truly like divinely protected within you and your direction and path you choose in your life it may seem like an extreme gamble but i feel it's going to bring you a lot of healing it's going to help you to really uh bring out a lot of your dreams into this scenario and a lot of your wishes into you, your um your life and and being able to harness the wisdom of nurturing you harness the wisdom of nurturing your excuse me, and nurturing yourself with your, with your extreme willpower to be able to flow through life with your own fire of passion and illumination of grace into it. And I feel that's like your divinely guided message because of this 11 here, so I feel all of nature is divine, so it's pure in its own sense. And I really love that word, pure. It's pure messages. I like that a lot better. <laughs> Thank you, Capricorn. I really like that word a lot better. <laughs> okay, but that's my own personal opinion. If you like the word divine, if you like all of that which expresses, and don't have fear into it. Don't have fear in the words that you, you, yourself, like to use. Like, me, myself, I like to use specific words and explanations with my own personal... Like, illumination and projecting upon my own uniqueness in the way I am. So, honor the way you are and the words you like to use. I'm still practicing into understanding and coming into the words I really like to use because I'm so used to seeing and hearing and being instilled with all these other words from other card readers and there it's just personally for me I don't want to be a card reader like that I want to be a different kind of card reader I, I, I am in essence within my own uniqueness a different kind of card reader so I'm, I'm working on the grounding of the words I want to use in my readings, okay? So, thank you for your patience in that. Okay, so. And you're coming into your genetic memory of your oneness within yourself and within your ancestors, your guides, or whatever you believe in, you know? Um... Those are the words I like to use for what I use for my own spirituality. So, don't let me stop you. Don't let me change your mind. Be true to you. Because I'm going to be true to me. And the words I like to use in my own spirituality. So, as a representation of that, I'm going to let you know. Be true to you. Your own, you, your own beliefs. Your own what you call to. Your own what everything, okay? I think I'm going to be saying that a hundred more times throughout the, my readings. <laughs> but it's honoring your personal power within yourself. It's honoring that fire and drive within yourself, okay, Capricorn? Okay, so. You know what? We're going to do things differently, Capricorn. I'm going to do this. Wow, that's so, oh my gosh, Capricorn, how beautiful is that? Usually I only pull out one or two of these, but we're going to do this and it's in a new way, Capricorn. We're going to really play this out. It's just 
amazing. I, I might actually read Ostrich out to you because uh, the message that Ostrich gives is freaking amazing. Okay. Ah, uh, Condor! Yes! Okay. I can see a lot of these messages within me and myself because of the fact that I have four placements of Capricorn in my chart. <laughs> so, with it all, with it even being my moon sign. So, and love's coming in. How beautiful. Because to me, that is what the swan is and also the dove. But this is like your pure um, unity of your love and being able to connect in a soul telekinetic level with the understanding of the dark mysteries. Now, wow, I'm going backwards. We'll play with it. And bringing its own sense of beauty and abundance to your own sense of dark mysteries. Because we also do have the condor. And the condor is the biggest bird, biggest flying bird in the world. I actually looked this up. Actually, I didn't even look this up. I, well, I kind of did. I looked, did I? I'm trying to remember how this happened. I really think it just came into my YouTube feed. <laughs> I really think it, it just popped up into my YouTube feed and I read about it. And because I think I looked it up in Google what a condor was. And it just popped up in my YouTube feed. That's how I, I really feel that how it happened. Unless I really did look it up in YouTube and that's no. Because I would have received a bunch of different videos and I would have went through them. To find the best one and that's not how it happened I was going through my feed and a video of the condor came into my feed it was the weirdest thing ever synchronicities so beautiful but anyway this is the largest flying bird and it is a representation of the death card which is cleaning out the old and stepping into the new because they they are the um, the cleansers of the earth, like eating the dead animals and stuff like that. But the coolest thing about this card is it's a representation of the um, death shaman. It is the death shaman. It's understanding the depths and hidden knowledge. So amazing, yes. And hidden knowledge behind the veil, the depths of yourself, the beauty within everything, and cleaning out what was impressed upon you that does not fit your own personality, okay? What was, oh my gosh, it just opens green. You know my phone only does this whenever I'm doing certain readings, okay? By the way, I there's been a lot of readings that's that been happening to. I think everyone's opening up their, expand, expanding and sh and slam and open their heart chakra. It's so interesting because this doesn't usually happen unless my phone's about to, but no, it's really not because, or that would be happening while I'm watching videos or playing on my phone. So it's just interesting how it only happens when I'm doing videos and only certain videos and at certain times when I'm talking about digging the depths inside of yourself and coming into lifting out off your own veil and seeing the hidden beauty within yourself and how uniquely special you are within your own talents. Kind of like the Dark Knight of the Soul type thing. The Death Shaman ushering you and helping you through your Dark Knight of the Soul. Now, and we have the Swan here and the Kingfisher. Like I was saying, the water with the air. Yeah, your intellect and your emotions, you're grounding them within your own sense of what you love and what you really have within the depths of you that you really want to make uh, just abundant and, and, and happy and connecting, connecting and like 
like, like, in a healing 5D way, which, that, I, I totally get, <laughs> 5D and all that kind of stuff, and it's like, this, the, the, it's on the deception card, so, I feel you have a, a hidden veil over this, this, this aspect of yourself, and I'm gonna read you this aspect of, because, this is, I really, I, I've gotten this card personally before, and it was the first time I ever gotten this card pulled at all. And this is the first time in a video I have had this card pulled. So I'm actually going to read this one to you. Because I feel it's that important. Especially when it comes to what you're going through and entering through the doorway of the um, energies of... Uh, Dark Knight of the Soul in a more healing type way, going through the energies of the Death Shaman. 23. Okay. I am Ostrich, one of the great connector birds. I am the odd man out. I am acceptance. I am that which is not obvious. As an earthbound bird, I have a former grasp on what it takes to ground the world of spirits. I belong to both worlds at once, striking yeah, striking the balance, finding the harmony. If you have found me, it is time to bring those messages you hear back down to earth. No wisdom does serve to... See, this is interesting. I, I, the, even when I read this for myself, it's like it's kind of didn't make sense to. But you'll probably get it. No wisdom does serve to the world if it is left to rattle. I really think that's supposed to say doesn't serve the world if it if it is left to rattle around in your head. That would make actually more sense to me. But it says does serve. I really think it's supposed to say doesn't. Some people fill up so much on spiritual knowledge they forget to share. Others simply fail to come back down. The higher worlds are measuring, but like me, or mesmerizing, okay. It, the higher worlds are mesmerizing, but like me, you are earthbound for a reason. Find a creative outlet, tell a story, make a move. Raise up your head and keep your eyes on the prize. I am I am a quick runner and can show you how to quickly spread your newfound wisdom. Perhaps you perhaps you already know your best angle and I have simply come to ensure that you follow it through. You are channeling. You are bringing something forth. You are the earth. You are ostrich. That's see, I, I told you, that's so freaking beautiful. Yes, ah, uh, so beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and read you Condor. Because it's like, I love it. <laughs> okay, I am Condor, the great alchemist with wings. I am the order of the cosmos. I am that which devours. When life per perishes, I will remove it. If something has ceased to be, I will give it new form. I am the shaman of death and the soul of renewal. I am your lingering clue that something must go. You need to look at life from the shadows and see how everything connects. You must accept that many things are beyond human understanding. There is change. There is transformation. There is death. It is the alchemy of time in the way of the universe. I will not give you all the answers, but will offer circumstances to heighten what you already know. If it is my lesson you seek, look around. Death is everywhere with the red dawn of metamorphosis close behind. Stop running from change and let something die its death. Stop lingering where there is no hope. Let life be renewed as it needs to. You are transforming. You are resurrection. You are acceptance. You are condor. Dang you. Drop the mic. Yes, that was freaking phenomenal. Energies of the moon. 
All right. What kind of messages do you have for our dear Capricorns? Capricorn. I saw that. I don't know which one it was. Well, if it was meant to come out, it'll come out again. Okay. You have. It's time to take action. That is a lot of the energy that I feel with them. This time to take action in your own... Um... In your own passion, in your own fire, in your own illumination of the what drives you within your within your heart what really grants you that personal power and and share the wisdom that you have learned with your own sense of death of the old and coming into your wisdom of the new and really being able to open yourself up to the depths of yourself and granting that wisdom out with what it is that you naturally do within your own fire that brings you a sense of harmony and abundance within your own heart and your own soul. And surrender to that purity within yourself. And know that you are protected through this process. And don't let your past hold you back. Emotions are going to run high. Things are going to be illuminated upon this path. But at the same time, it's time to take action into what truly brings joy and love into your heart and soul and resonate for you in your life. And to keep the steps going, keep your, your sense of self connected with what truly resonates for you and love in your own heart. And balances your own emotions out. Luck is on your side. And know that you are. And always will be. No matter what is going on. And what you decide to go through. But be wise. Be wise in knowing what the, what the consequences are. With certain decisions that you make. And maybe certain decisions with what it is that you really want to do may need more of a balance and practicality to it as well. I'm not saying just outright quit your job and do something that is not going to make you money because I even know within myself it is hard to keep a dream going when you really don't have a secure place to be. And I got lucky. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yes, keep your heart and dreams into play. But if you do truly have the capability to bring in balance when it comes to investing in yourself, do so. I'm not saying quit everything and then just focus on one thing, which is truly more of a soulful way to go, an illumination of your own heart. But sometimes certain ways are not as grounding and can harm your yeah you are you are protected within through all of this but it can still harm your emotions and create more fear than it is doing good and it's going to require an immense amount of strength to keep going in that direction if that's what you choose so much strength that you could lose yourself even more and then you have to bring yourself back even more and focus yourself into these things even more and also not have fear into being able to step back and allow yourself time to uh, be able to relax and not force these energies into being as well. Kind of like flowing with grace through it. And for some of you, if you have the opportunity to drop things and keep going into your passion, whether it, gets, it gives you financial security at first or not, um, like basically if it doesn't, and you have to live with family, 
the best way to go about this is to be open with your emotions about the path that you want to take, especially when it involves other people. Because when it involves other people, it makes things financially harder on them, and they'll just believe that, well, this is... It's kind of like a subconscious sense of jealousy comes out, but at the same time, a subconscious sense of responsibility, like going up to your own responsibilities, not everyone can live their dream, kind of like old programming. It's going to give them an extreme amount of fear, which is going to then linger into your extreme amount of fear and take you further away from your passions as well. One of the biggest things that I get strongly afraid of. Um, but I have been pushed into scenarios where literally <laughs> this is what I was handed to be personally honest like this is what I was handed because none of the uh, nothing else worked out for me okay like I didn't just like quit my job and say you know what the only thing I'm going to do and you know snuff my nose up and be like this is what I'm doing and I'm not doing anything else no, to be personally honest, I really do. I really did. I I used to work at a doggy daycare. I really did enjoy that job, but for some reason, it did not work out, and I had to move. And I tried looking for another job. It did not work out. Everything that I tried to do to keep myself stable and still do this on the side, literally did not work for me. It didn't work out. So literally, this was what I was left with to make something out of it. And for some, you have the chance and the stability to be able to go in this direction because things aren't working out for you either. You're, you're out of sheer, no matter how much you try, it's like it, it breaks apart. Not saying that you get mad and you just walk out. Well, it... That's not what happened with me. I didn't just get mad and walk out. It Certain things happened and it literally just did. No matter what I did to try to force it to keep it going, it did not work. <laughs> like, it did not work out. <laughs> and I would try. <laughs> and I'd, with all of my might, <laughs> I even put this aside for it. Because I know I needed security. I know I needed money to be able to make myself stable and that when I do end up here at my dad's I don't have the I don't have the opportunities in certain ways to be able to kind of go outside my room and get a job for a lot of factors that I'm not going to get into but literally the internet was my opportunities it was what I could dive into and create an opportunity for myself. And the way I was trying to do it before didn't work. And I still kept trying. Okay, well, what, what can I do to create opportunities for myself through the internet? Because this is what I was left with. This is all I have left now. I've tried everything else. I've traveled out to everything else. I, cr I literally cr brought in opportunities or took opportunities that kind of just was like, hey, what about this? And I would leave, go try to make these opportunities work, and I came right back here. <laughs> Ended up forced, the universe forced me back here. So keep that in mind too that if you've tried and exalted every option, communicate with that. I had to communicate all of this and, and emotionally completely open up with my dad because I was completely afraid with understanding that I know I need to support myself. I know I need to have an income. I know I need to have money. I know I needed to be able to do this, but like, I, I did, I tried, and for some reason I end up coming, I have to come back because I do everything in my possible power to hopefully not come back just by sheer because I, 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 I even left and went homeless one time to try to create an opportunity because it was driving me nuts being here. And then I literally traveled from one town into 
another town. I have to be careful about what I say. And ended up in a whole other state after that. I ended up from Florida into Virginia. And then from Virginia into back to Florida. And then in Jack's Beach for quite some time. And... I, I was homeless through all of this, just trying to figure out where the hell to go, what to do, how, where I, I was meant to be, and through all of that, and then through, and then uh, just figure out a way to just go, go be near my son, visit with my son for a while, just because of everything I was going through, and I wasn't financially stable, so I didn't know how, when again I was going to be able to see my son. So, I would do that, <laughs> and then I would literally, like, see, it's very hard. <laughs> so be careful, <laughs> because I don't suggest someone to just jump and go homeless. That was crazy. I, I was almost beaten by my own stick by someone at one point, and that's why I left the town I was in and went to a different town, and then went, and, and then literally in that town, we were hearing about, because I would go to the shelters for showers and, and, and food and um, clothing and stuff. So I literally like went from, we, we were in that town and hearing from the shelter for all of us to be careful because there was some serial killer running around that was decapitating people literally blocks from where we were sleeping in like a wooded patch of wood, woods area. We were like, what the... <laughs> what? <laughs> Someone's decapitating people over here? <laughs> it was adventureful. I would not suggest going through it. But if you're in that sense and somehow you're able to watch this video, I figured out a way to get out of it. <laughs> I, like went through so much just to, and I believe that, like, I went through it just to learn some things because of a lot of things I want to rise, I want to invest in, once I really ground myself financially and bring in a lot of, enough money to be able to fund organizations to just help those people that just fall in those kind of scenarios because of just trying to find where they belong. Or find somewhere where it's like they, that job is there for them. Like I went out to find an opportunity for myself. Like and not just feel stuck in a room and, 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 and encapsulated. Enca like I, I kind of did this. I flew my wings out and just kind of trusted the universe that I was going to be protected. <laughs> that I was going to figure it out. I mean, it was a gamble. It was an extreme gamble. It really was. It was an extreme gamble with my life. It was, but I was desperate because I didn't, I wasn't doing this then. I wasn't doing card readings then. And what I was doing was not connecting with anything or anyone. But now doing these, now in this position, with everything that I've learned, and have come to this um, way of doing, or way of, like, figuring out, bringing in opportunities for myself, connecting with people, um, being able to give something that I, you know, have within me, you know, a, a lot of wisdom that I gained out of all this, um, a lot of, like, you know, taking action, not allowing my past to hold me back. You know, everything that these cards represent gave me an immense amount of wisdom to be able to do this at a higher, at a, at a higher view, a heightened view, and to truly finding yourself, and, and to truly, like, creating a, 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 a financial income or creating a, a life in, in ways that is, is emotionally fulfilling. Um, I've been doing this for a year now. 
I can't seem to walk away from it no matter what job I tried to get just to be able to get more financial security in. I can't seem to walk away from it. And this is how this, literally, this called me. And so I jumped into it and I am now connecting it out because I was just doing it on my Facebook. Only my Facebook. Was not going through YouTube. And I probably would be a lot bigger now if I would have went through YouTube at first. But everything happens for a reason. I had a lot of practice into this with, you know, a sense of, like, emotional security with myself. You know, of not feeling as pressured or having to feel as if, like, I had to do it a certain way and everything like that. I fell into this with my own uniqueness. And that's what Facebook allowed me to be able to do and, and keep my mindset within this. And it grounded that mindset. And so it allowed me to be able to step onto YouTube in my own unique groundedness within myself and security within myself, okay? So I feel that's what you're stepping into, by the way. Not to be sitting here talking all about me, but I am using it as an example as to what is being expressed here within this message, okay? And how, yeah, it is going to take a gamble, but be very, use your wisdom. Use your wisdom, okay, within this. And understand that when it comes to your decisions, there's consequences in it. Me walking out with a bag and going homeless did have a lot of consequences, but at the same time, I was willing to go through it. Because I was not willing to be here with the way things were and with what I had. I, I ventured out to get more. I wanted more. I wanted to figure it out more because I wasn't getting enough in that mindset, in that state of myself that I was here in that time. Now I am. Now I feel secure enough that I can be here, even though I'm afraid because, you know, this the, the financial thing is kind of like causing a lot of friction between me and my family and be aware of that because that it, if, if you're if, if there's not much financial like grounding going on with your passions there's going to be friction between you and your family or who you know, whoever you're staying with you know there's going to be that friction and 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 but to know that you know it's helping you to understand healing within yourself. It's helping you to understand how to be able to have that sense of communications. Emotions are going to run high. But it's teaching you how also to stay grounded within your own emotions. To be able to still speak about these things. And show. Show you, you're trying. You're willing to try to balance things out. Like I try. I showed. You know. Especially when it came to trying to. I, I even went into a job that would have made a crap load of money, too, which I've showed on my Facebook, of selling roofs. Okay, we're at 43 minutes, so I'm going to have to tie this up for selling roofs. And, but it was, it was harsh, okay, because I would have literally, I saw that I would have literally hated myself because of the fact that I would have only had to be able to pick out specific people that actually had the money to know that they could do the deductive because if you don't do the deductive you could they would end up they will put a lien on your house and you will lose it if you don't do that if you don't pay that deductive to those um contractors so that broke my heart I would be losing more money because I was like, I'm too kind hearted. I would just be paying people's deductive. And, and if I didn't do that because I needed the money to be able to support myself, I would have broke. I would have soulfully broke and hated who I was at just being the cause and, and, and supporting a company that do that. 
I am not about that. I'm about helping the people, not acting like you're going to help someone. And then if they don't do what it is that is in that contract to do, you're just going to take their whole root, whole home away. Put a lien on their whole house because the, you did the roof and then the deductive's not there. And it's like, a, yeah, you have your certain time, this, that, and other, whatever contractors want to say. But for me, I don't think so. No. I was there because I thought we were helping people that went through hurricanes to get a roof back on their home so they could have a home. If they don't have the money for that deductible because the insurance don't pay for all of it, what's the point in paying for an insurance if the insurance is not going to pay for your whole roof to get put back on? That didn't make any sense to me. That literally made me start to hate my job. And then watching these people literally bunk up and like really expensive motels that's ocean fronted my heart broke I broke and I had to walk away I had to walk away because morally I don't think so that's not what I represent that is not what I stand for in this world I don't think so and this is a lot of things exactly why I am running high with my emotions about really what I want to do and make a difference in this world with. But, have wisdom. Stay true to your heart within your own healing into things and your own passions first. Because we have to be grounded within ourselves before we can really come together and invest in something that's bigger. So thank you so much. I greatly appreciate y'all for watching because I know I'm almost at 50 minutes and I got to be able to load this up in one video. I don't like making two videos. So if this really resonated with you, if you really love what I do, please like, subscribe. It greatly helps the channel. Share all over social media, please, because I really feel like we can all truly come together for something that can make a huge difference, a huge impact into this world. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate y'all Capricorns, and I will see y'all next week. Unicorn out.